Hello, this is uh, me um, painting outside uh, Knaresborough Viaduct. Now, uh, I actually live in Knaresborough um, and I'm a railway conductor and I uh, must go over this viaduct about four times a day during my shift um, and I never get bored of the view. Such a stunning place. Um, but this is the first time I've really took my uh, paintings outside and um, yeah, this is more about capturing the light and the tones uh, rather than doing a detailed painting which I really really enjoyed um, I do take it back to my studio after which you'll see at the end and uh, just play around for a bit but for a bit but this is a, a nice way of get, uh, enjoying painting just being outside and being in the atmosphere uh, you know, it's uh, it was a cold day, but um, you forget about all that. I'm using my hands here, uh, so it's hands, brush, uh, and uh, palette knife at the in the studio. Um, I'll just tell you a bit about the Nesbro Viaduct. So the uh, the material is grit stone. Um, it's 260 foot in length, 80.5 foot high, and there's one of the pier that's in the water itself. It's two tracks going over the viaduct, uh, four foot standard gauge. Uh, the architect was Thomas Granger and it cost uh, around £9,803 apparently to build. Uh, so yeah, so here I'm just mixing it all in and getting a bit carried away. It's uh, uh, adding all sorts of colours in there. Um, I, I know I had some bright colours in there, and uh, but I moved them all around over time. Um, this is more uh, like the buildings in the background. Um, just uh, uh, yeah, so it's more like a um, representing buildings rather than being in buildings. Just let your eyes, you know, see what they are. Uh, Knaresborough Viaduct uh, is a viaduct in North Yorkshire, town of Knaresborough. Uh, the viaduct carries the uh, Harrogate line over the river, Nid, to the town. Um, it was supposed to be opened in 1848, uh, but the first construction collapsed into the river uh, when it was very near completion, which uh, so the new one was delayed for another three years, so it opened in 1851. Uh, it's now a Grade 2 listed structure. Uh, here I'm really using all these bright colours, I don't know why. I think I'm just getting a bit carried away being outdoors. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just piling it on now. Um, I'm actually filming from the balcony of the Hub St John's Church. Uh, so thanks uh, Vicar Gary for letting me on onto the uh, balcony. That's a 170 going past that I work regular. Yeah, I'm just using uh, these are hog hair brushes because um, they really hold the oil on the uh, the brush. Um, I think at this stage I was quite unhappy with this painting because it was just a bit too garish. I think. But um, I think that changes later on once I get into the studio. Um, so it's just about you know just getting out there and just having fun. But it was even raining at one point, so I'm a bit concerned about the rain on the uh, on the painting. But um, I don't think it matters too much as long as it's not too wet. It's hard to find a dry day in England on uh, this time of year, November. Uh, there's a bit of slow motion here, I think, just to uh, have a good look at the, the textures I've used. Um, uh, I've really started to enjoy using hands in painting rather than brushes and just feeling the oil in between your fingers and throwing it on there is very satisfying. Uh, to the left, uh, top left, you've got the castle that'll become clearer later on. Uh, that's Knaresborough Castle. And well worth a visit to Knaresborough if you, if you fancy coming. I 
happening, these bits of light that I see outside, but uh, this also changes once I get in the studio. It's uh, still way too brown in there and the bed up, but uh, it all becomes uh, clear. That's a 158 going over there. That's my favourite train to work. Always good to wear gloves. Now it's back to the studio now. Now here we are, we've, uh, I've scraped a lot of the uh, garish colour off there. I'm just using the uh, palette knife to bring some definition and put in some uh, slight detail. It's quite a different painting to what I normally do, but I am enjoying the the building's just been splodges and let the eye do the work and what, it, what they are. I live in Nairsbury Town Centre so the studio is not far away from the fire duct and the castle. The reflections of the flagpoles uh, there's Nesbury Castle. Yeah, I think that's uh, happy with that as my face, my first plein air outdoor painting ever. Thank you very much.